Hey, Wedgie friends. Wanted to do a little update on my Taro RV wagon. And this is a glimpse of it. I'm in the inside. I'll try to see if I can take you out right now. It's very, very small. It's more for one person, but it's my, my witchy room slash woman's cave, um, artist getaway, tarot slinging, tarot readings, and just a meditation area where I could be alone with my thoughts and I'm spending way too much time in here. Um, it does have a bathroom, so I'm excited about that. It's a vintage 1984. Good year, good year. The bathroom is fully equipped. I haven't painted or finished decorating in here, so I just kind of threw down some stuff that I know that I'm going to be putting on the wall once I get you know the paint going. So, yes. Look at that. Okay. Maybe I should turn on the light so it could be you be able to see more better. So, yeah. And it's not hooked up to the um, to the sewer yet, so I don't really use the bathroom. Um, but it does have water. I connected the water. The, it has water and electricity. And I have a cool little air conditioner unit back there, which I still don't finish this area right here. Still have to paint that right there. But so far, this is what we have accomplished. When I originally bought this RV, it already came with these green colors and the red and the yellow which I wasn't really crazy about. I first, I got really excited about it being, you know, these colors because I thought it was really gypsy, boho-ish, um, the colors. But I had it to paint on this side, so I ended up painting the darker blue on this side. Look, my Saint, my Saint Cipriano, my Santo Niño de la Tocha, my Frida, that she has to have her space and um, place here in, uh, in my RV because I have a very fond and very she's my muse and she's my uh, inspiration I mean yeah so much deliciousness and yeah this still this area where I still I have to kind of figure out where am I gonna put those things but look how cool this looks right here instead of putting just a regular window treatment let me see if I it's a man serenading some women look and I got it at Goodwill for 89 cents even though it wasn't 89 cents but close to it i love all that greenery outside there's an rv park right next door oh this just came off cool look at this cute little vintagey looking bag that i also got at uh goodwill it's a goodwill find i think i got this like for 89 cents um this my husband gifted to me with a whole set of them uh he bought it at a, a garage sale or a yard sale or something yeah so this is where i come in and i take off my shoes i'm a stickler for shoes i hate 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 people wearing shoes in, indoors it's something that i haven't been able to cultivate at home because i have so many teenagers and husband that they're just like oh i mean they love me and they want to try but <laughs> Uh, this piece I got off of Etsy. It was more of the pricier piece that I that I bought. I thought that this was gonna be like ceramic, and it isn't. They said that it was some type of metal. I paid 25 bucks for this with the shipping. But I think it, the only reason that I didn't send it back, even though the art the seller was amazing and said that if I didn't like it that I could resell it back, he said that he purchases them from artists. Um, in Mexico or something and it benefits them when he goes and buys stuff from them so I'm like yeah I'll definitely keep it it's a one a unique very unique piece of Frida Kahlo the Sacred Hearts um, thing so I thought that was very very beautiful I added all these stickers from Dollar Tree I am a sucker for the cactus I couldn't get enough cactus stickers to uh, save my life because I find them gorgeous I love them I have like the cactus theme this it has more of a gypsy type wagon deal but um i have i don't really keep a theme um so i kind of like bounce around to whatever makes me happy that's my pisces delightful heart i made these right here uh just you know put beads together and, and hanged up you know some nice stones and um this was a, a little um, Frida that had came on a package that I bought of a 
nail and lipstick and I just cut it out and collaged on top of that and it was I think a sign of a uh, good morning time to crow and I did it on the back so I could you know you could use either side whatever I'm feeling but yeah Frida wins over that so I don't use the stove right now it does work um, I just have to add propane to the gas tank but I don't see myself cooking in here or doing anything of that nature if I'm gonna bring stuff over from the house I bring stuff already like fruit stuff already prepared like I just had my morning shake and this little thing so I'm just letting it rinse there with water and a little bit of soap uh, I really like the hot peppers um, I had some that turned on with uh, you know you plugged them in and they had light but uh, in one of those moments of I'm gonna clear everything out kind of uh, moments of you know going through the uh, spring cleaning I threw them out now I kind of regret it <laughs> I have my Buddha here. I adore him with a whole bunch of different kind of stones. My glass bottles that I love from Dollar Tree. Can you be any more cheaper? My guy, my gosh, you know. Um, this is a find from yesterday. I think I got this for a dollar fifty at Goodwill. I think I'm gonna put something like a um, stones in there to hold. And then I have my plants here. I'm trying to bring all my water plants and ones like these ones that only get need to be. Um, water like once a week so yeah and these little hanging thingies also from Dollar Tree these little things they like like if they were like you know they have the little flickering thing they look so beautiful at night they look like you know uh, like if they had a candle in them and they're safe because they're just you know a little battery operated thing okay and see how I just this is a find from Goodwill from just yesterday today is Saturday May 12th, 2018. So this was this is a find that I got at um I was going to do a kind of uh what is it called um go with me thrifting and uh look at all the stuff that I thrifted kind of video, but I was too excited yesterday and I pulled these out. I got these babies like for a dollar 50. That one and this one over here. So I'm using this one as my curtain right now because I haven't figured out what curtain kind of type of curtains that I want but oh my gosh i'm just in love everything in here is practically garage sales garage sales yard sales flea market finds um this i did buy from um i found the seller on um instagram i think it's called uh mexicana my Mexi mexicali blues i believe and they're amazing i bought some curtains from my house as well and other little bits and pieces but that's one of them that i got from um, mexicali blues i believe it's called the, the the shop and i think they also shop they also sell through amazon which they're they're just wonderful a wonderful company as, as you know supporting small business i'm all about that these right here they're like tapestries you know that you could practice you could probably hang i think and they're really heavy and big and i just added it to the uh to cover the and these are the ones that came originally with them but I replaced the foam inside so the foam's brand new and I just covered these up with these uh, tapestries oh my god I'm still holding on to the sticker my OCD self can't let go of it because I want to put it in the trash <laughs> but um, don't mind me with that um, yeah so that one and that one these sh these throws these little sh these little throw uh, couch throws amazing the colors are just so up my style my goodness gracious and then um sitting on this side <clears throat> this was another find from yesterday this one was actually five bucks but i think it was totally worth the five bucks the splurge on the for five dollars because i love all this boho style kind of purses and i collect them like the little hoardy that I am. <laughs> and I keep this basket right here because nobody else is in here. Maybe one person, another one more person will be in here and will fit very perfectly. Like my husband, when he, my husband comes over, because my kids usually never, ever, ever want to step in here. Um, not that I want them to either. <laughs> uh, this little piece I found at Goodwill. It's gorgeous. It's uh, one of those crocheted, um, I guess, little place um, dollies for the table. I was like, that is too gorgeous to sit down on a table and it's it needs to be a piece of art for my wall. And I think I got this like for 49 cents. It was a steal. Yes, it was a total steal. I know that. This right here is, I took it off from my Frida calendar. I think it might be, I think January or February. So I'm looking to take off all the, um, 
to take off all my Frida um, calendar, you know, art, and then put them all around the, the trailer. So we, this is for 2018, so I'm not going to take everything off, only the ones that already passed. But yeah, I love that. This goes back into my house, but I wanted to take off the art to put it there. And then these are just, um, these are um, textiles that I got from uh, Mexico when I went last year in November. And I, I got a whole bunch of these. I'm trying to make some uh, window curtains and um, other little goodies with these. But I want to add like a lot of the little bling stuff and, and those, um, what do you call these? Uh, I can't think of the name. The ones that um, yeah, it'll come to me later. But anywho, so yes, let me put this back over here, and then right behind here where our property is, we just have this old shed. But I love how all the leaves look and stuff. That uh, that's an an um nine what is it 1972 1971 um jiggly giggly i don't know how you pronounce that rv bus that my son um lives in it's um uh, i love it i need to do a uh, um a showing of that bus inside it looks like a little cabin like a little cabin inside it's just beautiful and for my tarot lovers these are the cards that i pulled last night i find them so very beautiful i was doing some meditation and just pulling cards randomly last night I love that I have this storage up here. I added all these feather stickers and all this kind of stuff. They're stickers that I added. I ended up painting this lighter blue on this side. That's my refrigerator right there and it totally works. That right there is all disorganized because I still haven't um, brought over what I'm going to put there. So that's kind of just holding my little fan and, you know, cute little stuff that's up there for, 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 for meanwhile. And then it came with that awesome little, you know, magazine a basket holder thing which is very necessary to have things that are taking stuff off from the surfaces because the RVs are so small that you definitely need stuff that's up um, in an area where you, you could you know throw that down my Kindle my older Kindle Kindle thing is in there my books my notebooks my little get you know tarot card decks in there mirror just you know hand sanitizer and my coloring pins and my artwork how cute is that cup it says I'm sharp it's from the dollar store so awesome 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 um, inside the uh, cabinets I don't I have my tarot stuff and this is just part of some of my tarot stuff it doesn't have all of them in here it's just some that I wanted to take off um, oh no advertising of cigarettes not that I smoke, but I do socially smoke with some friends, so <laughs> there it is. And then, um, let me see, what's on the other side? Hopefully it's not too much of a mess. I have a, a toaster in here in case I want to do, you know, some toast some bread or something, but I do have like a little co mini coffee maker. Not that I'm a big coffee person, but my husband is a big coffee person, so he's like, I'm coming over to visit you in your RV, and you don't even have coffee for me? How dare you? <laughs> and then there's just more little trinkets up here, little mini altars of St. Expedite, more stones, more Catholic stuff, sure skulls, salt shakers, oils, and um, this kind of pulls out and turns into a bed. So that's pretty cool. This I add, this mirror was here, but I added this piece over here. I think I got this at Ross, I believe. And then I got this at Ross as well. This cute little purse that is, I think, made from coconut. All these are, are, are coconut beads. Um, I got it from this real cool um, metaphysical store in spring. In old time, old time spring or old town spring, or what's called. And that's just some stuff. Oh, and I love these little throw rugs that are from uh, Ross. Are oh, they're freaking adorable? I love them to pieces. They were very inexpensive, so I think it ties up everything really, really well. There's a window behind here, but I had to cover it with um, one of those sun visor things in the back, because on that side the sun hits it really, really hard, and it gets real hot in that area. 
So just covering that window up and these ones up here have been a big, huge difference because the air conditioner can actually cool the place off really nice and not be sweating and panting like a puppy in here. Um, this right here I found at, um, at Goodwill. It's a placemat and I think I got it like for, like I don't know, 20 cents and I'm planning to put right here. But I still have to give a couple of more coats to the refrigerator and then I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to mount this on here. Which I think is totally cute. And then I found this at um, Goodwill yesterday. I think I got this like for like 50 cents as well or 99 cents. I can't even remember. So I just put some sticky stuff on there. Some uh, double-sided tape and mounted it on there. So it has some drawers back down here. this I've never tried to see if it works or not I don't know if it works or not but if uh, it comes to it I'll just um, if when it gets cold when it's been in here when I, I hardly come in here when it's cold but when it is cold I'll just have one of those little small electrical units and then take it back out when I leave and then this little stool this little guy I found at Goodwill yesterday for $5.99 so it's a footstool. It's totally cute. Um, I need to give it a little cleaning from top because it had like cat hair or something. And um, I think it, it fits amazingly with my little vibe, the little theme that I'm going with. Even though I don't have a real set theme, but I really like it. And then I could store stuff in there like extra decks or stuff like that. Because us tarot collectors <laughs> always have so many decks. Like this being right here is totally like throwing me off with my LCD <laughs> because I know it doesn't go there. But um, yeah, and so when I look outside, it's all this greenery. I don't have nothing next door to to really look at um, from these windows right here. And I love the rustic woodsy feels. I mean, I do live practically in the woods. I mean, it is the woods, but you know... Um, I love the, the feeling of looking outside and not seeing people right away. <laughs> and that's my um, tarot reader uh, sign and it, high, and it turns on. It looks really, really cool at night. You can't even tell that it's on. Is it on? Yeah, it's on, but it, you can't really tell right now in the daytime. So I put this down here right now because I'm not using the stove. I just recently ordered a cover from Amazon that covers it so you can have more counter space, which I love that this has this because if I'm not cooking in here, I don't really need the two sinks. With one sink is more than enough so I could, you know, fill up my cups or whatever. Um, that's going to be my, my breakfast in a little bit. And um, yeah, so if you take, I could take this off. Like I was thinking of um, just putting the baskets right there, but these little guys took precedence and I'm like oh my god these are just so cute but if I want to hang some fruit up there I'll have a spot to put them in yeah so this is my little tarot slash RV I am totally vibing with it I love it I'm just over the moon excited you know adding little details making it more comfortable making it personalized to my taste and it's been an amazing adventure. I got this last year. Um, I live in the willis Conroe area in Texas, and I ended up getting it a little bit further out from Dallas on a whim. My husband found it on Craigslist, and we were like, yeah, we want it. We wanted to go get, get it. It was a very decent price. I can't even tell you the footage because I have no idea. I can't even think of that right now. I can remember the, the size of the how many feet it is. That's more of a guy thing that they're always like oh it's this much or whatever i'm like yeah i don't really care <laughs> i'm comfortable in here it's awesome it's for my for my own personal having fun um that picture way back there where wonder woman with with the being like the the dead wonder woman my son gifted that to me like two years ago and i'm so glad that i found a spot to really show it off because he got me that one and another one at this um convention that he went to his friend was is, that is very talented or someone his friends someone that he knows did it okay i'm gonna stop it here because somebody's coming in 
and that's it bye guys